stories we've planned at 4.30 on EVB Live. A Valley 12-year-old has advice for families on how to take control of diabetes after she was diagnosed with it just before the holidays. Welcome back, everybody, to EVB Live on this Wednesday afternoon. We want to focus some attention right now on diabetes and the numbers they have doubled over the last decade. More than 25 million people in the U.S. have the disease, while only 18 million actually know that they even have it. Kim Covington joins us with a very special guest who wants to call attention to diabetes, especially in young people. Kim? That's right, Tram. Millions don't know they have the deadly disease, and millions more have a difficult time living with it. A free community event this weekend can help and joining me to help us understand is 12 year old Michaela Reisenbigler thank you so much for being here who's recently diagnosed with diabetes type 1 diabetes mm -hmm. Cindy your mom is here and we have your coach a lifestyle coach Mary Ann Tetlow thank you so much for being here and I'm gonna ask thank you a you bunch of questions about why we need a diabetics coach. Thank you so much. Michaela, you were diagnosed, we mentioned this before, right before the holidays. Can you really describe what you were feeling, what your body was going through? I wasn't feeling very good. I was feeling sick. I was very scared. What kind of sick? Tell us what was going through like, your body. Give us the details so these kids can understand. The, I was going to the bathroom a lot. I had headaches. I was drinking a lot. My stomach hurt. I didn't want to go anywhere. I didn't want to get up. And I was barely eating barely eating in fact you lost how much weight 16 pounds in in between 30 days oh my goodness and we have video we have pictures of you um, and how active your lifestyle was and then you were actually rushed to the hospital we have pictures of that right now Cindy this must have been so scary yeah you can you can see in this picture um, she had a little bit more of the baby fat on her so that 16 pounds was pretty noticeable um, when she lost it and here she's checking her sugars, which is, it's, that's a lifestyle change. You know, needles are scary to kids as it is, and now she's got to stick herself all the time. And you said this was so hard to identify. Well, it, denial is more, more or less what it was, denial. But, um, you know, once, once the diagnosis was given, it was so obvious. But like, you said oh. you were in the medical field. Right. And you didn't know what was going on. Yeah, I kept, I kept saying, no, it's because of the heat and cheerleading. She's drinking so much, and that's why she's losing weight, because of cheer. And she's going to the bathroom because she's drinking so much. And it was just, I kept giving excuses for it. And what happened to cause her to be rushed to the hospital? Um, it was over uh, Labor Day weekend, and she was just laying around watching TV. She was so lethargic, complaining of a stomach ache um, after she'd eat, and then she was hungry again. Like she wasn't getting the nutrition, and I said, "That's enough is enough. You've lost weight, and now you're just not yourself." And so, not only is she rushed to the hospital, she's getting medical treatment, but she has a lifestyle coach. Why do we need you? And what kind of advice should other uh, can you give to other families going through a similar situation? Absolutely, there is so much support. People with diabetes it doesn't matter if it's type one or type two, gestational. Everybody needs support outside of the physician's office. Once you leave, you have you're overloaded with information. And the tips I'd give for people how to support somebody that is living with diabetes, a loved one, first I'd say respect their privacy. Not every neighbor, friend, and family member needs to know the daily ins and outs of how they're controlling their diabetes or living with it. And we see how she's controlling it. You have it on your hip. Oh, I mean, if you can yes. see that right now. Correct. And how you eat and how you drink and all of, that. All of it goes together with your medication and, what and is your this? lifestyle. And what is this? Your medication? This is my pump. Or insulin. It gives me insulin. Okay, yeah. so she wears it with, and so no, no one has to know about all of that. Well, the, it's not bad that the school official, you know, yeah. people need to know, but you, you don't need to know, talk about it, the daily details in front of every single person you know. That's just sort of exposing and what you much. have to eat. Right, and the second thing I'd say is serve healthy meals to your entire family. Don't s single out the diabetic, or the person living with diabetes, and make them feel unusual that they're eating their own food or the healthy food or the special food. We all need to be eating healthier, and it's good to prepare meals for everybody, inclu including them, and not be exclusive. And you're going to explain all this on Sunday. Yes. This, this free workshop, you're going to like lay it down Absolutely. on the line. Absolutely. The diabetics, we'd so, we are tired of people, you know, telling us, well, can you eat that? Should, should you eat that? 
you know, are, are you sure you should Do be Do you get tired of that, Michaela? Yes. <laughs> uh, it's very tiring. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> all of that can help, all that information that hopefully we'll be giving this Sunday, uh, that can help people learn. Maybe they've, they've been saying that to their family member, watching what they're eating every single time. And, it, and you know. how do you, and how do you feel, how do you feel now? I mean, how... Did you feel like you understand this now and yes. you're not as scared as you used to be? Mm -mm. I'm not as scared, but like when it comes to newer things, I'm a little scared, but I'm not as much scared because I know that it'll help me. And so now I feel like fine. I feel like I used like I used to be. And so, all right. She's really yeah. well. That event, uh, we need She's to register for that event by Friday. We have all the information on EBB Live, our Facebook page. It's going to be held at the Biltmore or in the Biltmore area at uh, 52 Seasons 52 Restaurant. You must register by Friday. It will be held on Sunday at two o'clock. So thank you so very much. You're welcome.